type of star that we draw, right? So the points are, all of them, number one, we're doing is we're cutting up. So this is going to go from here up. Second point is here, across. Third point is down on the angle, up, and then down. Can you follow that? <laughs> okay, do it. No, just kidding. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's go to the other stand. So if you have to, you'll just look at the star. It's good that I have the whiteboard there because I'll try to tell people and I'll point to the wall and it's hard, right? So first one is up, first leg of the star, right? Second one is across. Third one is down. Fourth one is up and down. Boom. Okay? Are you ready? So one, two, three, four, five. There's my body movement too, that can go in later. You have one, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Got it? Mm -hmm. Try it. Practice it on your own. Go, go, go. We'll help you. Here's your star. <laughs> so I say Hajime. Yeah, because uh, you might you might have just killed somebody, right? So be careful. So basically all you're gonna do is flip it, and when it gets to the leverage point, you let it roll. You let the weight roll and then you recatch and you flip and recatch. So you and I like to push into the hanbo. I raise my hand upward because it gives me more control. If I just keep it down here, it might go too quick and I might lose it. So you notice I raise my hand into the hanbo. Change the wording. So instead of bringing the hand all the way around the elbow, all I did was say was strike and punch it through, and then people get it, right? So if you're teachers and, or you're learning, always remember that you could just slightly change the wording and things could be like open up for everybody, right? So did you see the thing that was on Facebook where people were looking at that dress and the dress was uh, gold and white or blue? And, yeah, it's interesting. It's how the refraction of light, the scientific part of it was interesting because it was how your eye sees it at that moment based on the photo, the photo was one thing, but how our eyes would see it, it would determine what it was. So the ninjas were really good at this, where we'd use illusion, just like a good friend of mine, a magician, um, uses illusion, you know, and, and basically, you know, that's what it is. So sometimes the techniques look extravagant, we're spinning all this motion, and it's way more for the brain, the process, then if you're having a hard time, break it down, simplify it in your mind. Don't get frustrated, because frustration is the worst emotion you can have, because it will ruin your training, right? You've had those days, right, where you just can't get someone when you want it. That makes this sense. is a single-handed exchange with a strike going from grip to grip. Okay, try that. Now what it Switch hands. Push it through and catch it. Bring it back down. Bring it out with the other hand. With your left now. Bring it under your armpit. Release it. Take it with your right hand, grab it, bring it through. And by the way, if you're too close to your shoulder, you're going to be reaching for it and you're not going to get it. So bring it around your elbow and catch it. And strike, down. Speed and switch. All you do is you strike, you complete the set, you re-chamber. You re-strike on the other side, complete the set. Rechamber. Okay? Try combo is be able to grip it, feed it, strike it. Yeah, there you go. So you're here, you have to be able to slide on the weapon. So when you're feeding it around the outside of the elbow, you strike. You feed the hand outside, you punch your elbow through, and then you strike. Feed, strike, boom, feed, strike. Now this is a block, so if you were if you were striking, I'd be doing this, right? Right in there, okay? So it's here, you slide it, punch the elbow through, strike. Slide it, don't release it, punch the elbow through, strike. And I could hit, I could hit, or I could simultaneously hit, right? And then I feed through, but I'm gonna bring them to here, and I'm going to create a more length on the hanbo here, and I'm going to let this pop into the groin, but I'm going to go nice and bring it down. Okay, and bring them forward. So we can go backwards or we can go forward. So this will add to your technique. Boom. 
too short here and don't have enough there, I'm not going to be able to catch it on the front. So I need to have a lot of hot on the bottom. Uh, this is a lot of pressure and then I pin them down and then I apply pressure. 